Good morning, webmates. It's Webhouse TV again. In today's uh, Microtech Tips and Tutorial, I'm going to share with you my current working dual ISP with failover and uh, combining of uh, both ISP internet speed. So, simulan na natin. So, as you can see right here now in my interface list, they are already uh, pre-configured. But don't you worry. Uh, later, I'm going to reset my router into zero configuration. And we're going to uh, manually configure our, our uh, microphone. Alright? But for now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm acting LAN 1 and LAN 2. I uh, both configured into uh, ISPs. Alright, ang ating 3, 4, and 5 naman ay configured into hotspot connections. Okay, so right now ang aking LAN 1 and LAN 2 are uh, both uh, unplugged or disconnected. So first, I'm going to show you the uh, LAN 1 uh, speed. No? So I'm going to plug in my ISP 1. Alright, so again, my ISP 1 is a globe uh, fiber with 50 to 55 Mbps. Currently, it's initializing. So I have here all the windows that we need for us to monitor if everything is working as expected. Okay, so as you can see right now, I'm at the Ethernet 1 or RISP 1. I am now inbound status with this IP address. Okay, so I have here my username created. So we're going to test if the hotspot is going to work. So right now, ang aking desktop is connected to uh, Ethernet 4. Alright. So here's my hotspot portal. So my username is WebhouseTV with a speed for a profile of uh, 100 Mbps. Okay, so I'm going to log in right now. Here we go, checking status, and it's now connected. Alright, so I'm going to run a speed test. Let's see if my ISP1 will really give us a 50 to 55 Mbps as anticipated. Okay, it looks like it. Yeah, there we go. So we got 51 Mbps. Okay, let's do a second test. Give us 54 Mbps. Okay, that's good already. Now, I'm going to disconnect uh, my Ethernet one, my ISP one. Okay, and then I'm going to plug in my second ISP, which is Glow at Home uh, prepaid Wi-Fi. Okay, it's now searching. As you can see in my uh, route list, uh, reachable na ang ating Ethernet. Alright, so I'm going to uh, refresh my uh, fast.com site to get the current speed. So we are anticipating to get a 20 to 25 Mbps, or whether rin naman below 20. It's, this is just a wireless connection. First uh, test, we got uh, 18 Mbps, alright, and then let's do a second test. Alright, so at this point, we got 23 Mbps, so nakukuha naman natin ang ating uh, uh, tamang speed kahit sa paano, no? alright, so, uh, at this point, we uh, prove that the both uh, ISPs are working, okay? And then at this point, let's do the uh, merging or combining of speed muna, no? If they are really working well. So, uh, ISP2 is currently plugged in. I'm going to uh, 
uh, connect down my ISP one. Right. It will gonna search. So while it's searching, so since the ISP one is uh, 50 to 55 and the ISP two is uh, 20 to uh, 25, so we are expecting to give a speed or to get a speed of at least uh, 70 to 80 Mbps. So we'll find out shortly. Okay, so all right. So the Ethernet one is now in bound status. It's now uh, connected. So both of them are both connected to the Microtech router. So I'm going to run a speed test. So let's double check. Yes, uh, I am still logged in into the hotspot. Yep. And then at this point, let's get the moment of truth. So let's run a speed test. And hopefully we are going to get uh, at least a 60 to 80 Mbps uh, combined from both ice levels. Looks like it's a bit of a Alright, so we have a pass up as you can see here in the interfaces list. So the uh, uh, LAN 1 and LAN 2 are getting into that. So let's do another test. We have an initial test. Give us a better speed. Oh no, I don't know yet. Okay, so let's do another test. Ayan, so siguro nag-initialize pa lang siya. Okay, so the third test is now giving us at least the uh, uh, better speed. So which means, yes, nag-combine ang ating ISP1 at ang ating ISP2. So we got... 73 Mbps, baka sabihin yung chamba lang. Let's do another test. Okay. Oh, nag-struggle ata ang aking both ISPs. Let's do another test. This is the fifth test. Forty-three. Six tests. Go. Uh, 69 Mbps, 71. Okay. Alright, as you can see right here, we have a little bit of a fast one. The packets in both. Okay, 74. And then, this is the A test. Find out into another site. Pakana masi fast.com or medyo mga Let's do it in speedtests.net. There we go. Ayan, o di ba? So. Okay, speedtest.net Mukhang uh, hindi nyo tayo hindi-tuin Port 6 Sa download and then sa upload um, diba? Meron tayong 73 kahit pa paano So, I have a feeling na yung anak ko naglalaro sa baba or uh, my wife is uh, downloading or uh, watching some YouTube videos. That's why hindi natin nakukuha ang download speed. But uh, let's do another test. No? Kandigin naman natin si uh, speed test to prove that uh, both ISPs are working or combining. I working 100% when it comes to combining or merging of both uh, speed para sa ating dual ISP configuration. Alright, now let us see naman if the failover is going to work. Okay, so I'm going to open up 
So this is our second ISP with 20 to 20 MB, uh, 25 Mbps rather. There we go. And then as you can see, yes, it is still working fine. Right. Let's go for uh, speed test. Failover is working, so I'm going to uh, cut this for a moment. So we have uh, proven that the uh, failover is working on this kind of setup, which is really, really good. Okay, now, so let's do the other way around. Though. So at this point, I'm going to uh, uh, disconnect the LAN 2 to see if the uh, LAN 1 will still take over. No? So I'm going to plug in now the LAN 1. Alright. So let's just wait for a couple of seconds to search. Alright, it's already in bound status, but I'm not red for channel. So let's just see the route list. Let's just refresh this one. Not yet. Oops, looks like it's starting up now. There we go. So reachable na ang ating ISP1. Before I disconnect the uh, LAN 2, let's do another test again no? to see if uh, they are still going to merge. Alright, so let's try first uh, see speed test. Alright, it's a good number. Alright, as you can see, there are packets from the RX uh, table right here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, speed are still merging. Alright, so it's really working. Okay, now, let's find out if uh, the uh, internet or the fillover is still going to work let's say at this point we're going to disconnect the land 2 you know? so kanina kasi uh, disconnect natin ang land 1 and then we have uh, proven that it is working the failover is working so at this point let's just unplug uh, the uh, ethernet 2 the land 2 or our isp 2 all right there you have it it's now uh, in red status from here and as you can see wala na data na pumapasok right here all right and then i'm uh, adding a uh, uh, route list it's still uh, reachable as you can see right here but if we're going to refresh this i'm going to enable this there you go and then as you can see it's now on uh, uh, unreachable state all right but as you can see the thing uh, still reply okay and then let's get the speed at this point to fast.com so take note our isp1 is currently in, uh, in working state at this point the second isp is disconnected and there you go 
there you go yep isp1 is working with 40 mbps guys speed test have uh, tested the, the dual ISP, the failover, and both ISPs uh, speeds are working or uh, merging on this kind of setup. Alright, so we're in, we have our LAN 1 and LAN 2 configured for both ISPs. At the, I think 3, 4, 5 uh, LAN ports are configured into Hotspot. Right? So if you are interested to uh, know uh, the configuration so don't worry i'm going to uh, uh, show you guys my uh, script on my next video so at this point allow me first to uh, prepare myself to do the next tutorial for the step by step on this kind of setup all right so i hope you like this video please uh, uh, stay tuned for the next video tutorial so once again this is webhouse tv Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Okay, have a good day.